DJ Shadow. He's the king of digging. No one's iller than him. He's got a, a keen sense. He's got the spidey sense. He comes here regularly and spends the day usually going through the records downstairs. And he's been coming here for a long time. And he always comes up with a big stack of records like that. We don't let just anybody downstairs. So he does have a special relationship in that sense. This is just, it's my little nirvana. And uh, being a DJ that, that I take, you know, the art of digging seriously. And uh, this is just a place I've been going to for 11 years. It's just an incredible archive of, of music culture. And there's the promise in these stacks of finding something that you're gonna use. And, and in fact, most of my first album was built off of records pulled from here. So it has almost a karmic element of like, you know, I was meant to find this on top, or I was meant to pull this out because it worked so well with this. So it's got a lot of meaning for me personally. Me and my, uh, my buddy Stan that I used to dig with, he was a graffiti writer. We used to come here just looking for things like, you know, incredible bongo band and stuff. Every now and then we'd buy things and, and Ed or Mark or someone will say, oh yeah, we got a ton of these in the basement or, uh, you know, oh, you should see the basement if you think this is something. So after like five years of hearing this, I just decided to just, can I just take a look? And uh, we came down here and uh, I couldn't believe that there was still something like this, a cachet this large. And the fact that it's relatively untouched. Just being in here is a humbling experience to me because you're looking through all these records and it's sort of like a big pile of broken dreams in a way. Almost none of these artists still have a, a career, really. So you have to kind of respect that in a way. I mean, if you're making records and if you're a DJ and putting out you know, releases, whether it's mixtapes or whatever, you're sort of adding to this pile whether you want to admit it or not. You know what I mean? 10 years down the line, you'll be in here. So, Keep that in mind when you start thinking like, oh yeah, I'm invincible and I'm the, I'm the world's best or whatever, because that's what all these cats thought. Over here is where uh, I was digging and there was a mummified bat under one of the records. That was nice. Watch your step here. You smell the gas? It smells like gas. I guess that's just the records. I honestly feel like the people that dig don't stop digging because it's a part of who we are. People that don't, you don't have to. It's not gonna make a bad DJ good, but it'll make a good DJ better. <laughs> 